um, out of you can see that's where that that bit there hell oh you lovely people this is the process of basically insulating a conservatory roof stuff so hit that subscribe button and let's go like this like this video tell, tell me what you think at the end if you think I did a good job um, but yeah we all know that in the summer conservatories get ridiculously hot in the winter like it is now it's um it's basically end of November conservatories get very cold we've put some uh, vinyl heat wrap on it but it hasn't really helped much but do the I'll show you the whole process of what I'm doing and don't be afraid to try new things just go for it so um I'm going to show you what such we have done and uh, what um materials I've got to, to do to do the job hopefully it won't take too long to do so let's go let's show you here is the current Thing. I've dropped that um, light it was not going to stay there it's going to go more there um, out of you can see is where the original light was and it's just stupid because it's not the centre of the room so I actually extend it so I could actually have a light still so I extend it put a light up yes I did turn what are you doing? hey what are you doing? little rabbit little Luca there's my little helper for the day um, Basically, I did turn off the um, the lights from the mains when I uh, when I when I re when I rewired that, so it's safe. Basically, as you can see, the vinyl is up there. It doesn't really work. It's a bit bubbly, so I bought these buttons here. Uh, buttons they are 25 uh, mil by 50 mil because that each thing is about 50 mil. So I'm going to drill into there. Um, I got this insulation here. That's the insulation. Airtech double insulation um, 25 meters of that. I'm not going to need 25 meters. I might need 10 maximum Maybe double it up because it's quite thin I got nine faster boards at 1800 by 900 millimeters um, Because I got nine I only need eight, but I got nine in case I mess up and I got wood that this rabbit my little rabbit here likes to uh, eat, um, rabbits like to eat um, wood and stuff because uh, hey mister because uh, basically um, their teeth grow 12 centimetres a year so they're uh, constantly chewing there he is um, so I got I got some more staples, I got some plaster but I took this off this bit off there I took that bit there from there I got some more, more staples. I got some um, drywall screws for the plasterboard. I got some some scrim. I got some tape here. This is basically to tape up this, the joints on this when they're up there. I got some silver screws. They are for the wood, so I can drill. Um, so I can drill the second buttons that hold this on to the first buttons. And I got some dial um, screws, they are self drying screws you can see. Um, they are 50mm because you've got to get into the into the roof and through 25mm of wood as well. Um, that's to get into the through the plastic and the metal and the wood for the first for the first lot of buttons. And then obviously I've got the staples because I've got to staple this on to the buttons. Um, I got some plaster there, ready mix plaster. I got the saw when I need to do the angles because obviously you've got some angles like there that I need to cut off some of the wood. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one this. Um, if I can, I'm gonna try and get the I'm gonna do a pilot hole possibly. But I'm gonna try and screw some in, see how I go. Um, I've got to keep an eye on the two rabbits as well. As I said, I've got one you just seen. There's one over there. So uh, yeah, yeah what up yes it, it's, i'm back about about an hour it's been now give or take an hour yeah about an hour ish give or take and uh these screws are awesome um let the wood dry out for about two or three days i cut them all to length as i needed to apart from certain bits um and uh to be honest it's looking all right um this took me about an hour as you can see 
the uh, I've got all the buttons in. I've checked them all; they're all nice and secure. All the buttons are in now. Um, they're up. They're in. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. I'm, I'm gonna I'm insulation to the roof now. Um, I've got some staples for it. Cut it. Put the thing. You know, I might I might batten it as well. So I might end up doing double batten it to so get rid of all the wood on, on the roof and have it. No, I don't think I'm gonna plasterboard it today. But I think I'm gonna hopefully if I can get some of this, if I can get some of that um, insulation up there. Whether I don't don't know whether I'm gonna do one layer or two layers for extra security. But I'm gonna stick whatever the staple lets me do. Then I'm gonna batten it across. Put the insulation on it now. Then tape it. And then come back to you. Yes. Um, to be honest, literally, um, it's taken me 40 minutes from, um, to put up most of the insulation. Um, but it looks pretty good. Um, I'll show you. So there's the insulation now. Now you may ask, why have I not, why have I not done this bit yet? Because I need to get some wood bit of wood to drill to the top of there. It's quite thick. It's like so thick. So then it can, so the light can screw, the light thing can screw into the, um, into the wood. And I also can put a piece of plasterboard up there as well and screw that into the, um, and I've also used the tape to tape the edges there, cause but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So there, it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully, um, the girlfriend will be quite happy with it as well. Um, but it looks alright at the minute. You know, it looks alright, it's stapled in. I had to get extra, I didn't get it some cheap, so I got 10 by 10, 10 mil by 10 mil staples. Um, because I want extra, extra length. So, the 200 ones, that are marked there. These ones here that are marked as 200. They go in the middle, the middle bit. And then you've got this one here, and this long one here. And there's two small ones. These, these large ones are going to go across there and across there. That side, that that side, and this side is 260. I decided to optimise my, my 4.2 wood, so I still had a bit of extra so I could do the edges there and there and etc etc. I used them, I did a 280 there, 285 there, a 260 there, and, t and, um, and two 130s across there. So I've optimised my wood, so I'll get so it's perfect. Um, so I'll just come back to you once I put the buttons on the roof. Um, yeah. One is up. Yes, I haven't done much more, but it looks good. Um, I've now, I, I like you saw, I showed you just then. I um, I um, insulated it, and now I have battened the roof. Now this bit I haven't done yet because. Um, I don't know if I've got enough wood, so I've got all the wood I've got left is that and that. So I might have to go get some more wood, I don't know. Um, I need to get some wood for that bit there. A plasterboard, plasterboard, a plasterboard that, and then plasterboard that, um, plasterboard that, plasterboard that. And this plasterboard will be last, and that plasterboard will be last because I need to get some wood in there so I can screw that to there. That's what it looks like so far, nice and battened. Um, I'm very impressed with it to be honest. Very easy to do. I got a thousand staples, I don't think I've even, I used four on each thing, so I one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Probably use about 100 staples, max, not even that. But I've got them anyway for the future. Um, so, we'll, uh, but I think for today, um, I think I've done. Probably in a few days, I'll stick to have got a bit to do tomorrow. Um, I don't know. See you um, when I've um, plaster when I've started plasterboarding. Whoosh. Yes. So basically, um, you saw before that um, it's about. I think it's uh, a lot going on on um, on Monday. So I didn't really do any, any. I did a bit of plasterboarding, just a little bit. Um, so sure, you can obviously see in the background, I've, I've done a bit of plasterboard in there. Um, I had a small dinner, I don't know why I'm going to tell you this. And I thought, let's try and do a bit of um, plasterboarding. So, um, 
it was about half past 12, it's one o'clock, so I thought one o'clock or four, let's see if I can do what I can do in three hours. So basically I did, I did, I did that, 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 and that, um, that little sliver there, but there is some wood behind there and behind there, so I could drill it into it. And also because I needed to drill a piece of a bit of wood right in between the slit there, so that light can screw to it. Warren, Warren, pain in the ass he is. Um, so I did that yesterday. It seems actually a lot better actually. To be honest, obviously it's going to be obviously a room is going to be cold when the heating's on. It's on now. Uh, little poo. Look at him. Look at that little poo. There's the other bunny there. They love it. They do. They love to bunny around everywhere. But so yeah, that's that's that art done there. Um, come back to you when um, when I've done that bit and then once I've done that bit I'll scrim it I'll come back to you when I've scrimmed it and then show you the process and I'm not going to so you know, boom what is up? it's a bit dark now but as you can see it looks all good, all good. Um, I've scrimmed it up as you can see got the scrim tape on there I'm not scrimming there obviously the screw holes, I'm just going to put this in because I've got this plaster that's down there that I'm going to be using, make good I've scrimmed it, it says that you don't need to scrim it um, so I might be taking the scrim off by sounds of things but for the big gaps like over there I might actually leave it on and scrim it but I'm, I don't know yet but I've got that, that should be enough to do everything. Um, this bit was a pain in my ass. I figured out to be honest, it doesn't. I don't think it looks that bad, you know. I've, the light is where it should be. It's more centered now. I think. I think it looks pretty, pretty good to be honest. Hopefully, the um, the the heat, the temperature will stay in. I think it might be more of a usable room now. I've got to plaster it, and I've got to paint it. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Some tape off it, I might just use the tape, because why not? Extra security. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, it looks alright. Um, yes, lots of things have happened, um, as you can see behind me. Christmas tree is up now. I have um, plastered the actual joints now of the, uh, t of the uh, roof. I'm just going to now, um, like, as you can see, Plastered all the bits, all the screw holes are all plastered up. You know, all nice. It's a bit dirty, obviously, but that's going to be painted. I just uh, backed up in here. It's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Because I'm going to give it a good mopping. Um, now, the state of my floor. Bloody hell, I'm absolutely. Yeah, that's the, that's what happens, I guess, when you're going. So what happens when you when you plaster yourself? All the shit goes all over you. Oh well. Um, and now I'm going to use this paint. And I'm going to what I'm going to do first? I'm going to paint all the edges down there. Paint them all to make them nice. And then I'm going to get the roller and just go over it with a roller a few times. I think that'd be sick then. Quite happy with this. Very good. Yeah, it's time to. Uh, paint and then clean and get rid of all the shit. I use a lot of plasterboard. There's the plaster the bag a full bag of plasterboard that I didn't use and a full lot of plasterboard there that I didn't use. But you know you don't know do you what you need until you need. But yeah. Yes. So I've painted it, I've done two-ish coats um, and then I went and put the light on to reveal all the um, different edges like up there you got like little edges around there and there's a few little dodgy edges that, that I'm trying to get rid of I went around it all it looks looking better the only thing now and I've got to go around all these edges here with a paintbrush because they need to be done um, but I'm not a massive fan of that and that but the way the um, the wood was when it, when when I put the wood that when I put the wood going that way as opposed to going up that way, I couldn't get 
a better like a, a thing so it's just got that stupid thing there but considering this is a DIY job I've never done this before in my life it's insulated you walk in here and actually it's it's usable it's it's it's, it's warm so I've done all that I've got to screw that back up to there like I said but what I am going to do with this is I don't like the dullness of it because it's it's a bright conservatory room so what I'm going to do is just do a coat of the whole place in a silk to make it more shiny, more like conservatory, I think. Yeah, uh, pretty good. And, um, yeah, uh, it looks all right. Um, I'm quite happy. Just got to go over them again with one or two coats of gloss, and then uh, I'll be happy, I think. And then, uh, yeah. Hello. I have to apologise for the state of my face. I've been, I've been uh, sanding and painting because it's the, the conservatory is basically basically done. Screw the light up now. Got to wait for that little bit to dry. Um, painted, painted, gone through it all. So it just shows you. And, um, and to be honest, that stuff, that stuff did say on it, um, that plaster, um, that it's scrimless, you don't have to scrim it. But with, because it's conservative, it gets hot and it gets, and it, and it might shrink or expand up when it's whatever. In the, I just want to, I scrimmed it every joint because I think the scrim can hold it together better. Whereas, You'll find you'll get cracks over time if you just if you just plaster over it. So I scrimmed it, plastered it a few. Then I, I plastered it, then I sanded it, plastered it again, sanded it, plastered it again, sanded it again, painted it, and put the light on like I have now because the light uncovers all the blemishes, imperfections. So I can so I can scrape it off, sand it, paint it again, paint it again, do the edges, paint it, paint it now, and now basically. I may have to go over it again. I'm not sure. I may have to, I'll have to have a look what it like, what it's like when it's dried. But it, the, the room looks an absolute tip. But that's just sanding for you. Um, I need to clean this table because it was nice before I started using it. Got to get rid of all this plasterboard there. So one piece of plasterboard and a bit. I've got to cut that. Throw this plasterboard out of the way. I've cut all that up. It's heavy as anything. Um, I watched this ready for Christmas. I vac it up, and it'll look beautiful. The oven will be happy. I'm happy. And, can, and, can, and it actually does, does doesn't feel cold like before. It's actually holding the heat now. Obviously, it's cold because the heat and the heat is on it. Obviously, the conservatory is cold because there's still because there's still windows all the way around the the room, so it's not going to be perfect. But you know what? This just shows you that basically. Um, that you don't have to be a full on trade and pay hundreds of pounds a day to do to, to do a thing. I didn't have I haven't had my car uh, for about a week since my car's about so basically because of that I've had a week of being able to just focus on this, get it nice. And to be honest it does look good now. I quite girlfriend came in and was like, Yeah I like it uh, she said to me this morning, it needs a bit of sanding down again, so I sanded it down again. Um, and all this stuff. Um, there's one of the rabbits. Hello, Mister. Camera shy rabbit. That's one of my one of, one of two rabbits. Um, but anyway, I'll do another video about my um, my car and what's going on with it. Uh, and, and a different one. But yeah, this is a uh, my uh, my conservatory now. What can I say? Um, this shows you can do it if you put your mind to it. Um, Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's many more DIY um, videos, house renovation videos, car videos, motorbike videos, lots of videos out there. So subscribe, like this video, comment down below what you think. Um, and uh, thanks again for, for watching and I'll see you soon hopefully for another awesome video. Bye bye.